Hello, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve the total unchanged question. We use the Bates acronym to help us remember the four steps involved in solving a total unchanged question. The question is, in a class, if 10 girls are to leave the classroom, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls that remain will become 1 is to 1. If 10 boys were to leave the classroom instead, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls that remain will become 3 is to 5. How many students are there in the class? As usual, in Polymath Learning Center, we focus on teaching you how to identify the question rather than just providing you with the solutions. First of all, a total unchanged question involves at least two relationships which can be expressed in ratios. In the question, the first relationship is that if 10 girls are to leave, the ratio of the boys to girls become 1 is to 1. The second relationship is that if 10 boys left instead, the ratio of boys to girls become 3 is to 5. We shall then express these two relationships and ratios. Most importantly, as the name of the concept suggests, we observe that in both ratios, the total should have remained the same. In both ratios, the number of students is 10 less than the actual number of students in the class. The only difference is that the missing students are of different genders. However, if you sum the number of boys and girls in the two scenarios, the total should be the same. We use the Bates framework to guide us through the four steps required to tackle total unchanged questions. The Bates framework consists of writing down the before and after ratio, identifying the concept, then transforming the ratio according to the unchanged value. Firstly, we read that if 10 boys are to leave the classroom, the ratio of boys to girls will become 1 is to 1. This is the first relationship given in the question. Therefore, we write this relationship down as the before ratio. We then proceed to write down the after ratio. The after ratio in this question refers to the other relationship, which is expressed as 3 is to 5, after 10 boys have left the classroom. When we have the before and after ratios written down, we can then identify the concepts to be used in this question by asking ourselves what remains unchanged. As you can see from the bar models, in both ratios, we are missing 10 students. The only difference is the gender of the students who have left. The total number of students who remain in the classroom is the same. Thus, we can conclude that the total of the ratios should have remained the same. After identifying the question as a total unchanged question, we then add in a new column in both ratios to reflect the total number of units in the ratios. The total number of units in the before ratio is 2, and the total number of units in the after ratio is 8. Knowing that the total is unchanged, the total number of units in the before and after ratio should be the same, but it is currently not the same. We then move on to the last step of the Bates framework by transforming the ratios. As the total number of units should be the same for both ratios, we transform the ratio according to this total. We find the lowest common multiple of 2 and 8, which is 8 itself. We then transform the before ratio by multiplying each component in it by 4, as that will change the total units to 8. For the after ratio, as the total number of units are already 8, we leave it untouched. When we transform the ratios according to the unchanged quantity, we make the ratios comparable to each other. Now, we solve the question by seeing how the transform ratios have changed from the before ratio to the after ratio. The difference of 1 unit between the 4 units of girls in the before ratio and the 5 units of girls in the after ratio is due to 10 girls leaving the classroom for the toilet. Thus, this difference of 1 unit represents 10 pupils. There is a total of 8 units in the ratios. Thus, there are 80 students remaining in the classroom. However, don't forget to add back the 10 students who are assumed to have left for the toilet. Therefore, there are a total of 80 plus 10 students and the answer is 90 students in the class. There you have it. With enough practice, you can master the total unchanged concept by using the Bates framework. I'll catch you in the next video where I'll be teaching you how to use the Bates framework to solve a different unchanged question. Till then, see you and have a nice day.